It's me, AJD, from the LA Hobbyist, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how I can give you a poor man's guide to buying at card shows. Buying with limited cash and buying with no cash, literally, in your pocket. So let's do this. Let's go. Let's grow. Hi, is this for the card show parking? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm really um, accepting card. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be 15, okay? Yep. Where's the entrance? Uh, it's gonna be right there. Oh, um, cool. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you. You too. First deal, first deal at the show. Man, I just picked up a Luca, so uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. I just picked up the Zach Martin auto. Nice. I'm super stoked about nice. that. Nice. Speechless. <laughs> he went <laughs> speechless on me. I'm in front of a talent, man. <laughs> no. Oh, man. I, there's levels, you know what I mean? I'm not a professional. No, 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 no. I, I'm not either. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> but, That's all uh, we can do, man. Yeah. Definitely, man. You got any Kobe's? I have two Kobe's right here. Where is that going for? Uh, uh first twice. What? First twice. I think this guy here on Thursday. Shoot. <laughs> so, we need 30, but I could work with you on the price there. You already know. Yeah. Let's see. I love Kobe's. Even though that's an eight, that's like... It matches it's, it's, the jersey, it's a jersey number. number. It's yes. a jersey number. Yes. Would you be able to do 50 for both? Yes, sir. All yeah. right. Can I get your memo? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. I'm already spending money. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even established my budget yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a show with you. Oh my God. You realize you get all the That's bills, so man. funny. That is hilarious. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, Gary. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was pretty honest. Are you helping them out? Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Yep, always. So I started off with zero cards. <laughs> Going to a card show, that's crazy.
Thank you, Slab Art, for this Kobe. Oh my gosh, now it's gonna go up in my wall. And whenever you watch my content on YouTube, you're gonna see it, and I'm gonna just refer to Slab Art every time. Beautiful. Appreciate thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Thanks for the deal. Yeah, of course, thank you. How's it going? Uh, Can you pick three of these good packs? Yeah. Do you have, do you have extra packs? I don't care. Okay. I just care about it for sure. Next time, I gotta come prepare and do like a card show one-on-one -on -one or 101. All right, what are you getting right now? I'm getting a one-piece Romance Dawn pack. Three packs, so. Should I open all of them? <laughs> I don't see why not. Yes, pull all three for me, please. Two. Give me something good. Okay, where's your memo? I'm gonna demo first. <laughs> I freaking, with Alan, I just like straight up just ripped everything first. I was like, oh no, that's I love that, man. This is a quick recap on what I did at the Burbank Card Show. So I basically bought a little bit of stuff and I did a lot of socializing, which for me is great. It saves you a lot of money, but I also want to break down how much going to a card show really is. So, you know, from the wristbands that we got to the, to the cards that we got over here, how much it's gonna cost you to actually go to a show to attend you know, on a budget. So I basically came in with zero dollars in my, you know, in my pocket. I literally just, you know, showed nothing there and zero cards to trade up. I literally have started from scratch. So now going from there, the cost of admission is $15. So, you know, times two, I, I already spent 30 bucks at the cost of admission. Then you need to park. The parking is about another $15, so that's about like 45 bucks out of the window, which is great. It's still affordable, right? So now, you go to your cards. So I'm gonna go one by one on what I picked up. So I picked up this uh, Luka Doncic 2018 P Threads, rookie year, you know. Um, it has great eye appeal. I got it for 175. Uh, it's pr it probably had sold in the market for like 200 at some point at this month. You know, it's probably down to like 160, which is okay uh, if he wins the MVP. But I'm not too quite sure uh, if he's gonna win the MVP. You know, I'm not too sure if that happens. But if it does, it slightly goes up. That's that's what I'm speculating at. Uh, I I know my goals were for today were to get some Damian Lillard cards. Unfortunately, I didn't see any from all of the showcases I've seen, but I did pick up a lot of Kobe's. I did pick up Jordan. So let's go with the 1998 UD Iconics. So Area 23, I basically got this for 40 bucks. Um, you know, the last old was 40, so I got it on comps. So slightly disappointed, but also, you know, I still got something that I'm gonna collect and have fun with, so that's pretty good. And last but not least, I bought these two cards for 50 bucks. And actually this comps out to about almost 40 bucks, so I did pretty good there. And this is about like 20 bucks, so about 60. I got, I got up to like, you know, I'm like plus $10 on that, which is great. And this one is gonna go on my wall, Kobe Bryant. You know, like Slab Art, shout out to Slab Art. Uh, thank you for, for this. Uh, memorabilia of Kobe. Kobe is my favorite player and I'll never forget him. Rest in peace, Kobe. Um, yeah, 20 bucks. So all in all, I spent about $347 plus the cost of admission and whatever moves you're gonna make. Obviously, you're gonna make bigger moves. It's gonna be more expensive than that. So really spend your time wisely um, looking up cards and comps, but most of all, it's a hobby, you should enjoy it. Enjoy the company you're with, enjoy the community, enjoy the friends, make some friends. And thank you, thank you for coming with me to this card show, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.